Are you a golfer that struggles to get open at impact? In this video, I'm gonna talk about how we can separate the upper body from the lower body in a more sequenced manner that can help you open up and get more clear at impact with the ball. When we talk about separation between the lower body and the upper body, what we often see with good movers is that ability to get the lower body rotating in one direction towards the target and the upper body, specifically the rib cage, the shoulders, the hands and arms, rotating in the opposite direction. So the backswing going away from target. The ability to unwind in one direction while stretching away in another direction is obviously physically very demanding, which we're gonna try and work on some physical exercise to help with that. But we also need to know how we can improve that from a technical component in the golf swing to help create more of an open position, a more rotated position and a clearer movement through the ball at impact. So what we're looking for is that ability to, as we get to the top of the backswing with the hands, the arms and the club traveling in the full range of motion, that lower body has the ability to start to unwind and go towards the target. What we see with more amateur golfers is the wind up and then the throwing of the hands, the arms, pulling on the handle quickly with the upper body and then trying to get a clear and rotated with a lower body at the same time. And from a sequencing perspective and how fast the hands and arms will move in relation to the lower body, they will always outrace the lower body. Meaning if they go at the same time, by the time we get towards impact, the lower half and even the upper body, the trunk will have stopped rotating and the hands and arms will take over and come through. We get that kind of early release principle or a flippy type motion. So in order to create that more of that separation, that lower body, we need to know what that might feel like from a physical perspective in the golf swing. Here I'm using the gravity fit band that you might see in some of my other videos to help demonstrate what feels like this separation to be able to get that reality. So because we've got tension on the band, imagine that band is almost our muscular system. When we stretch our muscular system in the backswing, we can see there's plenty of tension on the band, so we've not got narrower. In order to keep that tension on the band, we obviously want the ability to unwind the lower body while keeping that stretch, keeping that tension. You can see now how there's a separation between that lower and upper body. Whereas if we fire at the same time, you can see how that tension on the band gets narrower, so we lose that stretch, and now we've lost that stored energy, which is gonna then limit rotational capacity and also speed at the ball. So the first exercise we're gonna focus on is learning to be able to keep the core stable, so that lower back, and to be able to separate the hips and pelvis in a rotational manner. To start with, take two heavy dumbbells on the floor. They need to be of enough weight because we're gonna use these to anchor the body into the ground. From here, we're gonna simply get into position where we're lying on the back, grabbing the dumbbells underneath getting into position where we've almost got a 90 degree angle with the shoulders and we can feel the shoulder blades planted into the floor. Grab the dumbbells nice and tight, feeling like the lower back's pushed into the ground and in a controlled manner with your feet together, you're gonna rotate the knees towards the ground in one direction and repeat in the opposite direction. From there, feel how much movement there is without significantly lifting the shoulders off the floor. As you go through the reps, try and increase the range of motion. And that separation, which is essentially now from the upper body, is separating in a rotational manner from the lower body. Focus on six to eight reps each side with plenty of control in the movement and increase that range of motion where possible, but find your limit. With the next exercise, we want to be able to separate the upper body from the lower body again, but this time focus on how the upper body rotates with the lower body staying stable. To start with, start by taking a cable machine with this type of connector. This allows us to have the hands roughly shoulder width apart, which helps us create the movement correctly. We're gonna take a bench where we've got it at a slight angle that's slightly in forward of where the connector is gonna be, because we're gonna be rotating backwards we need full range of motion to be able to do that. From here, you're gonna simply take the cable and the weight and sit on the bench. 
This is quite a narrow bench, but ideally we want to almost feel like we keep the knees on the bench, almost hugging the bench in a stable position. If they do separate slightly, that's not a problem, but just focus on feeling like the feet stay locked into position. Taking the cable roughly at chest height with the arms slightly bent, we're gonna fully rotate, feel like the chest is turning as far as possible where we're rotating backwards and we're then gonna try and pull and rotate fully in the opposite direction. As you can see, I'm turning my chest, so my rib cage is rotating, my arms then go with it, but I'm not just letting the arms go and then pulling them across. So show some control, be stable in the lower half, you've got limited hip motion because of the fixed position, and we're rotating down and up. The drill we're looking to focus on to help improve that physical sequence, that physical separation into more of the technical swing mechanics is something that we is a commonly used drill, but how we understand and feel it will give us the most benefit. So as an example, if I was to start with my feet together and simply turn to the top of the backswing, what I want you to feel as you get to the top of the backswing, you're going to feel like your hands are almost pushing into a wall behind you. So you're trying to physically, especially the right hand, because that will then almost feel like you're pushing the grip away. Obviously, if we're pushing the left hand away, typically with the lead arm, we'll always stay quite straight. So we can't actually push that any further. So the feeling, you see, I've got like palm of my hand on the grip, I'm trying to push that away. So I'm creating that stretch through the upper body. So if I go up with the feeling of pushing away, and step with my lead leg, just a little step towards the target, what is happening here instantly is I am creating a lower body separation. My lower body started to now already move towards target while my upper body is now starting to move away from target. So that separation naturally is happening. This is physically quite demanding, so you'll feel that stretch, but it also helps you be aware of, can I actually create that, that feel and that technical motion so you see if just lots of rehearsals of a movement drill to help understand how that works and then once you've done lots of rehearsals so when i say lots i'm talking probably six seven even upwards of ten we're now going to try and hit a ball like that which is not going to be easy but what you need to understand is to coordinate the movement you've got to do lots of it so an example would be i'm going to just try that first can i get that feeling and then i'm just going to do that and just hit the ball now straight away that feels really strange because obviously it's a movement that lots going on but the more you do of that and the more rehearsals you do of the movement drill and the physical exercises that we covered earlier the easier that becomes You like the information covered and you can see how that's going to help your golf game i have more movement drills like this where we connect the physical components to the technical and work both in hand through my online golf fitness app which you can access here and if you want to understand even more on how you can move the upper body with better rotation using the gravity fit band make sure to watch this video next